Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope everyone is doing well. After my last series of videos titled Essential Advice, some of you reached out to me and wanted me to go deeper when it comes to how you move forward in life. In that video, in the intro, I mentioned look out for your, your month and day added together and reduce, if it's not a master number, of course. When you add up and reduce the numbers in your day and month, this number will show you what motivates you, what inspires you, what drives you to do the things that you do. This number also is very similar to our Mars placement in astrology. And as you know, our Mars placement is all about what we are passionate about, what motivates us, what fuels our fire. If you have added up the numbers in your month and day and reduced to the number seven, your approach to everything is to be in your head. Basically, your approach to things is to look deeper and research and understand the, basically understand why when it comes to everything. Um, depending on other placements in your chart, this number, having this number here may create a bit of paranoia or overthinking. And you might be unaware of the fact that because you're constantly looking into things on such a deep level, it causes you to worry a lot. So in order to get away from the worry, you might find that you have to escape into basically, you know, whatever is your escape route. For some people, it's food. For some people, it's binge watching shows. It's social media. It's alcohol. It's sex. It's drugs, whatever. But because your approach is always to dive so deep into things, you might find yourself like basically in this tunnel of like just diving, diving deeper into the rabbit hole. Also having the number seven in your approach is that basically you don't see yourself as a materialistic person. Everything you do is to understand a deeper meaning and to understand things for yourself personally. With this approach, you might come off to other people as someone who is like not interested, like a bit aloof, like all to yourself, when really it's not that you are self-centered or aloof or any of that is that with this placement, you're just in your head. You are just constantly observing things, analyzing things. Your approach to everything is to have your silent time. So sometimes you might be around others and you'll get quiet. And that's because it's almost like an introvert having to go within themselves to recharge themselves. Even though the number seven is a masculine number, meaning it's an extroverted number, it gains energy from being direct. People with this number tend to go into themselves a lot. It's like their way of recharging their batteries. And you know, when it comes to information with the number seven on a whole, like I've mentioned before, the number seven doesn't want to take what you say. The number seven is one who needs to basically eat it, digest it, and then understand it from the process of eating it and digest it. You might find that with the number seven here, your approach is to basically dive deeper into spirituality and metaphysics. And you might find that what brought you there was pain. You experienced something traumatizing. And in order to make sense of what you were going through, it landed you on a spiritual path. With this placement, whenever you are stressed out or overwhelmed in life, it is important to have some kind of a spiritual foundation, some kind of a spiritual security system. Like, you know, people who are religious, their system is to go to church or read the Bible and things like that. With myself being a life path number seven, I truly understand this number. So whenever I am not in a good place emotionally, it is important for me to work on my spiritual beliefs. That's when I need to do meditations and journal. It's important for me to know that there is a higher power because it's like to believe that there is no higher power. There's nothing out there. It's like 
this number gets lost believing like being an atheist or I forgot the other word where you don't believe in any God or anything like that because this number is the God number. This number believes and knows that there is a higher power and is constantly diving deep within themselves to see God within themselves because the number seven energy knows that God is within us, like God is within nature and everything around us. So this is the energy that is constantly diving deep within itself to see God basically looking for God in everything around it. And when I say God and everything around it, God is that energy that vibrates everything, vibrates meaning animates everything. It's like electricity. You cannot see it, but once it flows into a physical thing, you can see it by it animating itself through that physical thing, depending on you know the dimensions of that physical thing. So in a plant, in a animal, you see God by seeing that energetic force that animates that thing. So yes, with the number seven in this position, you will find yourself, if not early in life or later in life, seeking some kind of, some kind of a spiritual path because that is how you feed your soul. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.